Tessa from Cloudy Vet, and I'm going to do a dupe review skate video on the dupe skates. I don't typically do review videos. This is like the first one that I do. The reason I'm going to do it is because I, when I was looking into getting dupe skates, I couldn't find any real reviews on them that, that are like honest. So I'm going to give you an honest review. So this is because I have them now. This is what I got. I got the dupe photon skates. And the reason I wanted to get these style of skates is because, or this brand, is because I, uh, two reasons. I didn't want to have to hassle with buying a pair of skates online, not knowing if they fit, and then having all the, the headaches of, of returning them and all that kind of stuff. I didn't want to have to do that so these were a better selection for me since you use your own shoes and you don't have to worry about the size there's only two sizes I got the small I have a I wear a six and a half seven so I got the small size oh the other reason was because I wanted bigger wheels and right now I currently have uh, two other pairs of skates I have USD's Dustin Latimer's that I've been riding like forever and before that was I have some oxygens. Those are classics. But those those are running 76 millimeter, and the USDs I think have 56 millimeter. I'm not sure. But these are 80, and and the wheels do this glow thing. You know. Now here's the honest review on them. The only setup so far that I can use is a low cut shoe, and it's. It's this one that I have right now, the DCs. These are the only ones I feel comfortable. I have a whole bunch of other shoes and I can't use them because they, they're they high top shoes and uh, they're not comfortable with the way the the, the setup is. It's, it's more for a low cut shoe. So that's the only pair. And also you have to make sure your soles are pretty thick that you cannot feel the metal that's inside because there is a metal lever that you pull back and then you adjust the skate for the size you can make them bigger but I have them set to the very smallest because I have a small foot now here's the thing I never saw on any other review there is a chalk absorber rubber pad that's inside wedge where the lever goes right here now this thing was way longer it was like way way I had to cut it down it was like super long what it is it's like it wedges down in the inside it's supposed to give you a, you know a cushion for your foot I guess but all it did to me was give me like massive pain in the middle of my foot on the arch part and I already have a high arch I didn't think I was gonna have that problem but yeah it was very uncomfortable so I haven't. I didn't see this anywhere. I had to just figure this out on my own. I had to get scissors and just cut this off and cut more of it off, and that's what I did. So I cut that off, and it made it more comfortable for me. I wasn't in pain, so I was like, okay, cool. But here's the thing: that lever that you adjust the size for your skate is just super hard. You can feel that thing. It's metal, and I wish there was a way that I could mod it so I could remove it because I don't need it to be there but it's just like yeah if I don't wear a thick thick sole which is those are the only ones that I have right now that are thick enough I can't wear any other type of shoe that's the only one that works so if you're gonna get these you need to keep that in mind that that lever is hard and it's gonna it's gonna hurt you another thing um, this plastic uh, plate on the bottom. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna tear off eventually. Mine is already starting to to come off. Only only when you touch the ground in whatever situation. I can't remember where that happened. I've been trying to skate just uh, for speed and distance. I'm not trying to do any tricks. I'm. I'm too old right now to do anything like that. I even have to use my knee pads now when I skate because I can't take another hard hit on my knees. So yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just in, in for it just to, just for the fitness of it, and I'm trying to just get back in shape or whatever, and I can't do that if, if I don't feel comfortable. At first, when I was, I'm comfortable with these now, but in the beginning, I kind of, it took a while for me to get used to them. Like, you got all these different ways of strapping down. Once you find your comfortable uh, set, then it's, it's not that bad. But in the beginning, it was kind of awkward. It's hard to get used to. I'm used to the solid boot. It doesn't feel solid to me. But now that I've been using them more regularly, I'm getting uh, adjusted to them. I've rotated the wheels a few times already just to make sure that the roundness doesn't get squared off just on one side from the use of, of skating. There was some power slide emblems in the back on both of the skates and I had to, they fell off. Apparently there were stickers and I didn't know. I thought they were like buttons like, you know, screwed in or something, but no, they, they came off and so I had to replace them. I put, I put some Star Wars stickers on there. So yeah, that's another thing that kind of caught me off guard. I was like, oh wow, they just unstick. And they look pretty cool. Yeah, I still have them. They're, they're pretty shiny. They look, you know, like plastic, like something. But it's really, it's just a... And they were here, but they just like unstuck themselves. So yeah, be aware you might lose those. If you don't know and you're skating and you know you wonder where they went, I was lucky that they fell off when I was at home. Power slide. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Um, these these straps start to fray. I don't know if you can see that. Like the the thread just comes off of the top strap. And I don't know if it's, yeah, it's happening on both sides. They're just like fraying off and, and on their own, just by themselves. I don't know why that's happening. I've never seen that on any other straps, but it is what it is. And that's, that's what it is, just doing it on its own right there. Look at that. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, you know, they're only straps. <laughs> you only need them to hold the skate on your foot or whatever. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'll get another two pair of skates, but, uh, these are okay for now. They serve their purpose. I just want to, I want to, uh, get used to the 80 millimeter and I couldn't, change the frames out on my old skates so there was no way that I could get that feel of a larger wheel without getting a new pair of skates and this was the best I could do for right now but yeah that's my review um if you have any questions you have any comments any suggestions anything you want to tell me about it you don't like it you do like it whatever uh hit me up give me a comment let me know if you want me to review skates, uh, I'm down for that too. Rollerblade, hey amen. Send me some skates. I want some twisters. I'll, I'll even review like macros. I'll review anything. So, yeah. Hit me up. Let me know. I'll give you an honest review. I'm not going to lie. I'll just be honest. I'll say it how it is. Yeah. <laughs>